If you've been thinking about doing some data consulting work on the side of your full-time job or even making it your full-time job altogether, then this video is for you. Because in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to become a data consultant as quickly as humanly possible. And be sure to stay to the end because that's where I'll be giving you a scripted pitching template that you can use starting today to dramatically increase the effectiveness of your efforts in landing a well-paid data consulting contract. For the very best data leadership and business building advice, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when a new episode drops each week. Also, really quickly, I just want to shout out our incredible, glowing community. Thank you so, so much for your support, all of your likes and comments and requests for topics. It really means so much to me and it matters in terms of what we're doing with this community. So thank you. If you're new around here, then you know I'm big on leading with why I'm qualified to teach on any certain topic. So why I'm qualified to teach on data consulting. I actually started out as a technical consultant back in 2007 when I was working as a project engineer. I'm a licensed professional engineer and I've been a data entrepreneur since 2012. Much of that work was data science consulting work. And after serving 10% of Fortune 100 companies within my data business, I started coaching other data professionals to hit six figures fast in their own companies. Hi, I'm Lillian Pearson and I support data professionals to becoming world-class data leaders and entrepreneurs. Now, if you're anything like I was, back in 2012 when I started my business, then you only have data expertise. You probably have are working in a nine to five and you've only ever worked in a nine to five job. You may feel like your skills and experience don't actually translate that well to the open market and you definitely don't want to end up underpaid and overworked building applications for someone else's business. You probably already know that higher end consulting services are the way to go, but have no idea how to take your skills and expertise and convert them into a data consulting package that actually sells. Heck, back in 2010, I actually had three and a half years of technical consulting experience for organizations as large as the US Navy, and I didn't even know the difference between consulting and implementation services, let alone how to package and sell consulting services in my own business. So let's start off first by just looking at what data consulting is and what it's not. Looking first at what it is. Cambridge Dictionary defines a consultant as someone who is paid to give expert advice or training on a particular subject. Therefore, it naturally follows that a data consultant is someone who is paid to give expert advice or training on a data subject. The operative phrases here are training or advice, bringing us to what data consulting is not. It is not coding, it is not machine learning, it is not building data pipelines, or any other type of data implementation service. You can also sell these types of services through your own business, but those aren't consulting services. Another thing we need to define really quickly is what do I mean by fast? And so when you're setting up your data business, there are really two main approaches. You can either start now or wait for the gold. So the approach I'm about to share with you falls in the start now category, which means that if implemented effectively, you should be able to get a client within 30 days or less. Leading into the next section, I would really like to hear from you with respect to your ideas for your data consulting service. Have you thought about who you're going to help and how exactly your consulting service will help them? Let me know in the comments below. All right, great. So the first thing you need to do in order to get started as a data consultant fast is very clearly define who you help and how you help. So what this really is, is you need to get very clear on who your customer will be, all the way down to the industry level, what role they're currently working in, and the transformation you can render for them. Let me give you some examples of roles I've helped with my data consulting services in the past. This would be VP of analytics at an insurance company or director of data at a media company, head of risk management at a banking institution. If you break it all down to brass tacks, I help them get a quick win for their company by ensuring their next data project was a revenue generator. If you want to see the exact 44 step process I lead my customers through, that is available through the data strategy action plan. So we'll leave a link to that in the description below. Going back to who you help, that is essentially your ideal client avatar. So I'm going to make up mock-up situations just for purpose, illustrative purposes in this video. So let's just imagine you help e-commerce business owners. One way that you could help them is that you could evaluate their company's data as well as various circumstances across their business and build a strategy for improving marketing and sales over the next 90 days. Notice how that is a very, very specific. The avatar is e-commerce business owners and the transformation is evaluate their data and business circumstances and deliver a plan to get them results, revenue generating results 
in the next 90 days. Very specific. The next thing you need to do when looking to become a data consultant is define exactly what you offer. So that's of course going to be anything from strategy to advising or assessments and training. You really have to go and do market research to figure out what is going to be the best solution or the best offer for you, given your industry, your ideal client avatar, and your passions and skill sets. In terms of the consulting services that I've offered in my business, those are of course data strategy plans, data strategy workshops, as well as VIP days. I've held workshops and training seminars all over the world and done partnerships with LinkedIn Learning in order to train their customers. Also, I've developed strategic plans for engineering projects. So that's the kind of consulting work or the, the labels of the offers of the consulting work I've done in the past, at least some of them. Going back to our example, you were offering this data strategy service for for e-commerce business owners, you could offer them something like a marketing plan audit and give yourself a two week turnaround time and then build a process that ensures your work, the time it takes you to deliver that work takes 10 hours. And then you could charge them something like $3,000. If you are watching this video and you're thinking to yourself, hmm, I don't know, Lillian, I'm not in that much of a hurry. I'm more interested in the wait for the gold approach. Then you definitely want to check out this video I did on that exact topic. It's called how to sign high paying clients as a data entrepreneur and we'll leave a link to it in the description below as well as the cards to this video. All right, so now it's time to talk about where to find clients. And I need to throw in a little caveat about wait for the gold versus start now. We're talking about a start now method and start now methods tend to reap lower value contracts. So yes, you can get a contract quicker, but the dollar amount on the contract, it generally tends to be lower. And in terms of where I have found my consulting clients in the past, I have always landed my consulting clients through the wait for the gold approach. So I never did the start now method Method just because I didn't need to. But that doesn't mean it's not effective. So let me show you how to get the clients fast if you really want and need them now. So the first thing you need to do is you need to think about two things. You need to think about your buyer avatar and your offer. Now, what problem does your offer solve? And your buyer avatar, where does your buyer avatar go to get problems like that solved. So some potential places that these people might be looking for help would be like Upwork, although I tend to tell people to avoid Upwork at all costs. You can also look at AngelList or Facebook groups. And I showed how to find jobs over on these marketplaces in this video called How to Become a Freelance Data Scientist. You can check that out. We'll leave a link to it in the description below. Going back to our example for this video, if you were looking to find a client that is hiring for data strategy with respect to sales and marketing, Marketing, you might want to look over on a website like hireamarketer.com and see what kind of jobs people are looking to hire for with respect to data strategy and marketing. You always want to place yourself in the position to be found by your ideal client. And by placing yourself there, I mean you need to have a high impact portfolio and profile. I actually created a different video all about powerful portfolios and making sure your profile stands out. That video is titled Data Science Freelancing Portfolios, but the general principles are the same for data science freelancing as they would be for data consulting in terms of portfolio. Once you get a high impact portfolio and profile in place, then what you need to do is pitch the potential client. And I'm not just gonna leave you with pitch the client because I know that's totally ambiguous and doesn't help at all. So what I've done is I've created a reusable script that you can have you can get access to it inside my Facebook group for free. And I'm going to give you a little mini training and walk you through that pitch script so you understand why and how it works. Let's do that now. Okay, so here is a data consultant's pitch script. And I've broken it down so the script comes first and then my example, like creating, using the script is second. So first, let's just talk about the format. Anytime you're doing marketing in any format whatsoever, you always want to follow the same formula, which is ADA attention, interest, desire, and action. That's a battle tested formula for copywriting and it just works. So I have built your template here, our template in the ADA structure. And another thing that you need to know when you're going after jobs or doing anything with your business is that it's basically never about you. It's always about how, it's always about your customer or potential customer and how you can help them. You don't want to lead with, hi, so-and-so, I'm an amazing, Python developer or whatever it is, like they don't care about you at all, right? They only care about getting their needs met and coming out, getting success at a good rate and taking the credit for it, which is fine. That's what we're in business to help people do is, is win, right? So you want to just make sure that when you're creating the bid for them or emailing them or anything that you're demonstrating that you realize like it's all about them. The only thing that matters about you is how you can help them get what they're looking for. OK, so in um, the attention element here, you know, hey, so and so does it surprise you to hear shocking fact about his industry and business requirements. So that's why it's very 
very important that you are clear about the exact problem your offer overcomes and your ideal buyer and their industry and stuff like that, because all of your profile, all of your pitch, all of your portfolio needs to be targeted to that individual and really demonstrating how you're able to help. Moving into the interest section. Now, this is where you start just dropping some hints about the incredible things you've done in the past, but those mentions need to be relevant to him and his exact, so your buyer avatar and their exact problem that you're able to solve for them. Desire is the section where you start leading into more of like the, you know, past experience you had, which is why we should talk. And you just share quantified results that you've gotten for similar clients in the past. And then you would create a segue here where you're going from talking about how you've helped past clients to then relating it back to your experience and what he's actually dealing with. So this is where you're kind of connecting with the individual in order to then give them the action element. So you relate back with your experience, with your experience solving the exact problem that they are facing. And you want to dig into the pain and problem a little further and demonstrate that you truly understand what he's up against, because that is going to help the customer understand that you're not just another coding person, but that you actually understand the business problem and how bad it sucks and how to overcome it fast. And they don't have to worry about any of it, anything, right? That you, you are an expert. The last sentence would be, you know, I need more information before I could tell you anything about whether I can truly help you, which is generally always the case if it's something online. You need to like qualify your clients and make sure that you can help them before you actually give them an offer, right? So moving into the last section, which is action, and then you would just tell them a very specific action to take in order to get more from you. So you can then just copy and paste this into a text document or whatever and fill in the blanks for each bid that you use in order to help you get clients. The only caveat is if you end up getting a client really fast, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Just just tell me about your win because whenever I'm able to help people, that is the thing that makes me most excited about the work I do. So let's go into really quickly my example. I just went and found this um, mock-up job in order to demonstrate for you how I actually use the template and populate it. I found this little job posting over on AngelList and it doesn't require, it's a contract job, it's remote, it doesn't um, require say part-time or full-time and they're needing a data strategy plan. So that's perfect. Looks like something that, you know, I could do data consulting work for them and build the plan, right? Rates are decent, you know, all is well. I'm going to run through this really quickly. This is me basically taking the template I gave you and filling it out with my details as if I was going for this job. This is how I would implement the, the script, okay? So it goes, hey, so-and-so, does it surprise you to hear that most of the big name consulting firms out there are charging 2K per, upward of 2K per hour to batch out cookie cutter data strategies that one, aren't customized to the client's business, and two, are definitely not tuned to meet the rapid revenue generation requirements of today's more scrappy startups. So I know he needs a plan and he's a startup, right? So yeah, that's why we should talk. Well, I could tell you all about how I've been delivering technical strategy plans since 2007 for organizations as large as the US Navy, or how over the past five years, I've led transformational data strategy workshops across the far reaches of the globe. Why not let the results speak for themselves? So over the past decade, I've this comment here is relevant to his need for data strategy. I would say that I did this this really quickly in like probably like 15 minutes. So this section here is could be a lot more hammered into his actual requirements. It's not as good as it would be if I was actually trying to get this job because you want to give quantitative results that are dialed into exactly what the person is mentioning they need help with, right? And mine is more vague than that, although it is quantitative. In that sense, I will critique my own work here and just say, this could be improved, but for purposes, demonstration purposes, it's fine. So worked with my partners, LinkedIn, Wiley and LinkedIn Learning to help educate over 1.2 million data professionals on A, tens of thousands of which were students in my recommendation engines course on Python. So right here, it's relating to his request for, you know, basically you've got to know how to do recommendation engines. It says that in the job posting, right? So I just said, basically, I've helped tens of thousands of people learn how to build recommendation engines. So that's relevant. Author five books by Wiley on big data and data science, working on a six on all about how to utilize data resources and expertise strategically in order to generate business profit. So that's relevant to his, that it's basically saying, okay, I know something about data strategy, published essentially an expert, right? Delivered data strategy plans for some of the biggest corporations in the world. It's again, relevant to data, his data strategy need and subsequently taught hundreds of data professionals how to build profit forming data strategies. Supported over 10% of Fortune 100 companies through my data business LLC of which I'm founder today, right? So now I've kind of, these are like the things that's like, I'm supposed to be wowing him with quantitative results that are related to his needs, right? Look, there's a lot of noise in the data market today. I'm sure you're aware as CEO, I know how overwhelming it can be to sort the grain from the shape. So I'm now relating to him. He's posting this job because he's drowning in 
drug data professionals and he needs help, but he doesn't know if any of them actually know how to meet the business needs that he's got in place, right? Which is why he posts the job. So I'm relating to him and showing him that I know the problem. As an educator in the data science space, I can say, I can tell you one thing, most data professionals out there don't know up from down in terms of what it takes to convert data science know-how into actual business revenue. So be careful. So this is me trying to basically stand out from the crowd. I do stand by that. It's not, you know, I do. That is true. However, it is also a point where I'm trying to stand out from the crowd. Truthfully, I need to know more about your company and its specific requirements before I can say whether I'd be able to help, which is also true, but it shows him that I don't really need him. And I'm not just like, begging for a buck, right? What can I say? What I can say for sure is I'd be happy to chat. I'd be happy to help you. And if I can't take the job, if I if I decide you're not a good fit for working with me, putting then the power in your court, then I will, I'll be happy to point you in the right direction. And then this is an urgency, authentic urgency point of with all the book updates and the course updates and my own business, I have very limited availability, but I could maybe take on one client if it seems like extremely awesome. So you want to try and add some urgency or some like, I'm not just here waiting for you to hopefully, you know, give me a chance kind of thing. So you have to kind of get inside and switch the tone around. And then basically in my case, I was saying, you know, he can text me because <laughs> we have his, we have an online community of 650,000 and I don't do emails and social DMs are terrible. So I give him my cell phone and he can text me and then we can just chat about his requirement, right? So that's what I would send to him and then just end it with a, hey, this is my business. So it's basically, by the way, you know, you can check out my business. This is my portfolio, right? Okay. So that is how I would go about pitching, trying to land a data consulting gig as quickly as humanly possible. If the person didn't come to me and I went to them, I would I would put out something like this. All right, so I hope you got so, so much out of this video about how to become a data consultant fast. And if you did, then I want to invite you to get my free data entrepreneur toolkit. This is a toolkit explains the top 32 tools and processes that we used in my business to hit multiple six figures. They're basically just the best tools I found on the market for growing an online data business throughout my research over the last, I guess it's nine years now. So if you would like to get the, the toolkit, you can download it through the link below. Also, we have an incredible Facebook group called Becoming World-Class Data Leaders and Entrepreneurs. I would love to see you in there. So you're welcome to join us. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. If you like this video, be sure to show it some love by giving it a thumbs up and tell me in the comments below, what type of data professional are you right now? What kind of work are you doing? And be sure to subscribe to this channel so you'll be first to know when the next episode drops.